Radical. I was thinking this would be a great series. I'm happy that this series basically didn't end tonight in Boston and the Warriors uh, picked up a W. I mean, I don't really particularly have a favorite in this series. I know it sounds kind of weird. I mean, you know, I mean, either way, look at it this way. If the Warriors win this series, then that's going to be four rings for Curry. And, well, I mean, you know, that kind of justifies Curry as one of the all-time greats. You know, he's already seen as one of the all-time great shooters, if not the best shooter of all time. But if Curry, you know, carries his team on his back, you know, because he doesn't have Durant anymore, then that'll kind of justify uh, Curry as maybe possibly being one of the top 10, 15 best players of all time. I'm looking at this chart here, uh, worthy of 30. I'm looking at this chart. Most 30-point games in NBA Finals in history since the merger in 1977. Jordan has 23. James, LeBron James has 22. Shaquille O'Neal, 16. Kobe Bryant, 13. And Curry has 13. In the next game, if Curry has another masterful, masterful performance in Golden State, he could surpass uh, Kobe Bryant in that stat there. I think in this game he was 43 and 10. He had four assists. I think he was uh, in the third quarter is when he heated up, I believe. I might have my stats all messed up. Well, just screw the stats. He had an amazing game. He was hitting the bottom of the net on those threes. There was people just, you know, in his face on some of those, you know, but it's Steph Curry, right? He got fouled on one of those plays. So he visibly was upset because he he was fouled. So I would give the Golden State Warriors one more point there on that. Did I get to see the whole game? No. I got to see highlights. I was away from uh, home, and I had a kind of a spotty internet connection. But I tell you, I knew that they would win. I knew they would win. And in this particular game, like I said, not the series. In this particular game, I was rooting for them to win. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be completely against it if it goes back, I think, Game 7 to Boston. And Boston has a big Game 7 win. You know, and Jason Tatum, you know, gets his first uh, ring. That'd be great, too. You know? So, uh, I know some people are really specifically on one side or the other. But, no, I mean, I'm, I'd be fine either way. I just want a great series. Oh, I, I lost my uh, lost my place. Oh, okay. I said to myself, I stopped watching the game. Actually, after Curry's corner three. That put them up by one point, I think, in the third quarter. I stopped watching that game. I, I was actually very busy with some things, and I was going to catch the highlights later. I stopped watching it, and I said to myself, Warriors are winning this. I just had a feeling. Like, this one, Curry's taking over this one. He might have been at 30 points at that point. Now, this was not an easy win for the Warriors. Even though they won by double digits, the Celtics were with them every step of the way. You know, Celtics were up, I think, at five by the half. It was back and forth early on. And for a second there, I was like, the Celtics got this. You know, they're going to handle their third quarter run. But no, nah, you know, not when Mr. Steph Curry gets hot. You know, when he gets hot, uh, you're in for a long night.